This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. If we're going to be upgrading to Windows 10, we're going to need to upgrade from at least Windows 7 with Service Pack 1 or Windows 8.1. So if we've got like Windows 8, we need to upgrade to Windows 8.1 before we can do an in-place upgrade to Windows 10. Now whether we're upgrading or doing a fresh install of Windows 10, these are the hardware requirements we're going to need. At least a 1 GHz processor. For the 32-bit version of Windows 10, we're going to need at least 1 GB of RAM. For 64-bit, we're going to need at least 2 gigs of RAM. For the 32-bit edition, we're going to need at least 16 gigs of free disk space. For 64-bit edition, we're going to need at least 20 gigs. And we're going to need a graphics card with DirectX 9 or later. So for the test, these requirements are very important to memorize. Now as far as the editions of Windows 10 go that we can deploy, we've got Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Enterprise, Education, Windows 10 Long-Term Servicing Branch, Windows 10 Mobile, and Mobile Enterprise. Now for our desktops, laptops, tablets, we're going to be deploying Home, Pro, Enterprise, or Education, or Long-Term Servicing Branch. For our phones, we're going to use Mobile or Mobile Enterprise. And Home, Pro, Enterprise, Education, and LTSB all come in 32-bit and 64-bit versions. Now for the most part, we're going to be working with Pro or Enterprise. Education is going to be very similar to Enterprise, except that it's really designed for educational institutions, and it's only available through the academic volume licensing. The long-term servicing branch, we're going to be talking about more in a bit, but it's another kind of special version of Windows 10. And as you can imagine, the home version is more for the home user. And again, mobile and mobile enterprise, we're really only going to be using on phones or really small tablets that are capable of making phone calls. So now let's take a look at the differences between mainly these first three editions, home, pro, and enterprise. And when we're looking at the different features that are available, everything that's available in home is also available in pro and everything that's available in home and pro is also available in enterprise so basically with each version you go up you get extra features you don't lose anything and these features are going to be really important to memorize for the test because we're definitely going to get questions about okay we need this feature this feature and this feature what's the minimum edition of windows 10 that we're going to need so with Windows 10 Home, Pro, and Enterprise, we're going to get Continuum for Phones, Cortana, Windows Inc., Start Menu and Live Tiles, Tablet Mode, Voice Pen Touch and Gesture, Microsoft Edge, Mole Device Management, also called MDM, Windows Update, Windows Hello, Device Encryption, Secure Boot, Windows Device Health att Attestation Service. With Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise, we're going to get Domain Join. So that's a very important one to, to memorize that. If we want to be able to join a domain, we're going to need at least Pro or Enterprise. Single sign-on with Azure AD. Group policy management, that's another important one because we need to be able to join a domain to be managed by group policy. Enterprise mode with Internet Explorer, that's another very important one. We can have Pro or Enterprise, Remote Desktop. Client Hyper-V, this is very important to memorize also. If we want to use Hyper-V on our Windows 10 like laptop or desktop, we're going to need Pro or Enterprise. Enterprise State Roaming with Azure AD, Windows Store for Business, that's another important one, Signed Access, Dynamic Provisioning, Windows Update for Business, that's another very important one, Windows Inf Information Protection, and BitLocker, BitLocker, which is another important one. Now features that are just for Windows 10 Enterprise, and as we'll see here in a second, also for the Education Edition. Uh, direct access, it's very important. All these are actually very important to memorize. Direct access, app locker, managed user experienced, app V, and user environment virtualization, also called UEV, credential guard and device guard, windows to go, branch cast, and start screen control with group policy. Now Windows 10 education has everything that enterprise has, so basically everything, except for Cortana. That's the one uh, exception. 